back. back. Yes, welcome back, and uh, yeah, happy new year to all of you. Yes, happy new year, guys. It's 2016, and here's the video apparently I'm doing for the new year videos. Another movie vlog, because me and D. Tyson recently saw another movie that uh, got delayed a, a few times, but we, 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 we we've saw finally done it. Yes. Yes, it's uh, that the movie we were. We, we were, I suggested that we see, because at the time I suggested it for Christmas, is Batman and Robin in this uh, four movie pack I got for good value, nine ninety nine. Yeah. And so we finished seeing it, but uh, I think a little bit of a back, a backstory -ish to it. I did technically see this as a kid, but only like the end part of it. But I don't remember it that well. It was back in the day when stores had the had it showing on like the display and I just as a you kid you just it. stood there and watched it <laughs> and um, and apparently you saw every other movie on this DVD except, oh, not the, not not this DVD but the movies yeah. there except Batman That's and Robin true. I've only seen the uh, the music video uh, Smashing Pumpkins did a music video for the movie which was playing during the credits that was the, oh, the song we were hearing oh yeah uh, I that, think it's on this DVD too but we just like yeah. skimmed past it yeah there were some uh, extra footage as well but we didn't we didn't check it out, but... Uh. Yeah, time is kind of <laughs> critical here. But, uh, yeah, I mean, definitely, uh, I, was, I was saying, if you're watching this as a kid, I think you'd probably appreciate the amount of visuals that's going on, a lot of colorful uh, imagery. I guess Joel Schumacher is really into it's that kind of stuff. It's very cartoony. Yeah, cartoony, and psychedelic. Like a, oh, yeah, a, a lot of people and reviewers are like, this is a terrible movie, <laughs> this is a blah, blah, blah movie, so after me and you heard saw it for, stuff, for, yeah. or heard it and now have seen it in its entirety, I can't blame them. This is really kind of cheesy. Yeah. Uh, let's see what the, where the cheese, cheesiness begins, guys. Uh, so when you're chilling out and you're watching this movie, you'll notice that the Batman and Robin have a surfboard, right? Okay, so this movie... <laughs> now, I haven't seen any of the previous Batman movies, but we'll uh, probably watch it later on, not now. Yeah, yeah. But, uh, so this movie is... The villains of this movie, we'll say, because in the previous one it was, like, Catwoman, Penguin, and Batman Begins uh, yeah. with the Joker. Well, well Batman Forever was uh, Riddler and Riddler. Two-Face. Yeah, yeah. Riddler and Two-Face. So the villains of this yeah. is Mr. Freeze, played by your favorite... Arnold Schwarzenegger. Yes. yes. It's so <laughs> surreal to see him in this movie, actually. Yes, <laughs> yet it still kind of worked out. Cause. Especially in those scenes where he's not Mr. Like, well, he's like in a human type look instead of the, you know, the icy. Oh, his scientist. Yeah, 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 like, yeah. Uh, when he was Victor. Like, like where they show those, uh, I guess, video archive footage that he has with his wife who he's trying to save. Uh, it looked like something from Junior. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, oh, this is what happened with Junior. <laughs> and uh, what was it? And the other villain is Poison Ivy, who I forgot what, uh, who the U actor Uma played. Thurman played. Uh, that was her? Yeah, Poison Ivy. Oh, I which, thought... Which is strange, because I think she was in uh, Pulp Fiction before this movie came out. So maybe that's why uh, Joel Schumacher oh, had interest in her. I'm not sure. As this uh, seductress, uh, this twisted, psychotic... Uh, environmentalist? Evil woman, I guess. Uh, Adam so, and Eve. So... Stuff. Alyssa Silverstone was a uh, bad girl? I guess it would make sense. Yeah, that was an interesting choice. Uh, I don't know if, if Joel Schumacher, Schumacher was trying to convince... Uh, sorry. Trying to say that maybe he was clueless as to who to hire as Batwoman, so he, he, he cast... Or bad girl. Yeah, so he... Or bad girl, sorry. So he, he cast this, the star of Clueless, Alicia Silverstone, to play bad girl. <laughs> oh, yeah. by the way, Joel Schumacher directed the previous movie, too. Yeah, he uh, did Batman Forever. He which, did. Uh, how was that one... Well, I mean, I don't want to spoil it because we still, oh, yeah, still got to watch what, it. What you thought of it? it like. It's, I mean, it, it's cartoony. It's it's also the same kind of spirit. Um, what's up? Oh. Oh, you were, I think my... <laughs> oh, me? All right, yes. <laughs> it's very cool. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, man, yeah. All right, so what was I saying again? Uh, uh, so, Joe Schumacher. Yeah, the, the movie. last movie. It had the same kind of spirit a little bit, but maybe less... Uh, goofy. Less goofy, less innuendos, as, as you pointed oh. out while we were watching it. A lot of yeah, sexual Yeah, there's a lot of innuendos. innuendos that definitely would fly over the kids. I'm yeah. just watching this. I was, like, <laughs> I was like, wow, that's a lot of innuendos there. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Um, but yeah, I mean, the cast, having George Clooney as Batman, I, I don't know. I had a hard time... Taking him seriously. He uh, looked he, it like James Bond to me, like the yeah, Sean Connery James Bond. I'm just like... I think they hired him based on his looks, or they cast him, sorry, as Batman. Based, or in, uh, I don't know, it just didn't seem like he fit as Bruce Wayne. Um, like, uh, 
What was he, the other he, one? He just seemed like kind of smug. Maybe. Michael like, Keaton. Yeah. Even like, Michael, like I think you preferred Michael Keaton more. Even Michael Keaton as as uh, Bruce Wayne didn't really do a good job. Uh, he, I mean, he dealt. He was showing that he had like more issues to deal with. So, I mean, this this one seemed like he wasn't taking things seriously. He was very relaxed. Right? Back, like like yeah. like this movie is a joke. So it's like oh you know I'm Batman and stuff. And like, there are a lot of terrible yeah terrible like a, puns. At one point they they actually do a zoom in of a. Uh, what they call a goth card, you know, like a master card, but it's a goth card, and then it says Batman will best la- through best through forever. So like it's an unlimited credit card of some kind. I don't know how you get. And it that. says don't leave your, never leave the home without it. Never leave the cave without <laughs> it. Cave without it. Sorry. That people like were like, oh, what the hell? Like, yeah, that wasn't necessary. Okay, when like I've seen reviews and other people complaining about them, but I'm always like, uh, oh, it wasn't that bad. But until you actually see it in person, yeah. it, it's bad. Like. Watching like uh, people reviewing it just, it just didn't do it. For instance, a uh, one, one scene, uh, Robin was flying down from space. If you know what was going on, uh, yeah. he's like Kawabunga, and I'm just like, <laughs> was that on the surfboard? I think right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I was it's like Kawabunga. I was like, wow. That's that's Ninja Turtles territory. Yeah, if they did it, it'd be like, mm, that, that's what happens. But it's or like Robin actually. <laughs> Oh, and then the startup where they were getting in gear, that took way too long. Yeah. That took, it's just like wearing everything, bat nipples. What was the point of that? The bat butt, yeah. Bat ass. My bat man. Yeah. Well, the, I mean, the thing is, the movie itself was was too long, wasn't it? I, it was I like felt two, it. Like, at hours. one point, I was like, this is a really yeah. long movie. It's two hours it's long. Two hours long. Two hours and four minutes long. Yeah. A little bit too long, possibly, but. Uh... I don't even know where all the. <laughs> Because there were, like, a bunch of scenes, like the part where where uh, Barbara, who's not the daughter of Gord- Commissioner Gordon, which is... She's the... Was it niece, niece of, of Alfred, Alfred, right? Which yeah. is, you know, oh, well, that's convenient. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, so there's this one scene where she was out racing to get money, and, like, that scene took forever, and I'm like... Actually, you were like, yeah, a, the motorcycle. what's the significance of this scene? We were trying to determine if it was, like, maybe, like, a plug-in for some motorcycle company, maybe that... Uh, Funded the movie. I don't know. It's possible. I mean, it kind of like, yeah. made me think of Running Man or something. I haven't seen Running Man, but it for does, some reason, it does it have made a biker scene. Of, yeah, it does. It made so. me think of like the racing segment yeah. of that. Uh, but let's see. Well, what would you say? Is would you say this film is uh, the bane of the of Batman's existence? Because he was in this film. Oh yeah, but, Bane uh, is also what, in what here. Happened, what, what did they do to him? He was like they he made was, like, him the Hulk, right? They made him <laughs> retarded. Because if you know Bane, yeah, yeah. And I'm not claiming I know all of Batman's lore and stuff, but Bane, like, yeah. he's supposed to be a smart guy. He's not just like, Roar, I am Bane. Yeah, he was pretty he, much the Hulk. He didn't even say, like, his name. All he would say, he'd repeat the last word of every sentence, wouldn't he? Yeah, like an idiot. Yeah, that's all he would say. I mean... Yeah, was... so so Bane was in here, and uh, if you see any other reviewers, like, reviewing it, they don't show Bane that much. But basically, yeah. Bane follows around as Poison Ivy's henchman and doing <laughs> stuff where... Where the muscles are required. Like wearing those gorilla suits, remember? They came out of that. <laughs> she was dancing. Of course, I was dancing in one of them. Yeah. And I was like, I was like, oh, what if that's Bane? <laughs> Fortunately, it wasn't him dancing like all oh, like that. Funny. But then later on, you see the other gorilla and it's Bane. And I'm just like, oh, yeah. thank goodness we didn't see that. Well, we'll say about Bane, I think to summarize, is he's there in body, but he's definitely not there in mind or spirit. Yeah. Well, definitely in mind, because he's yeah. pretty dumb. Yeah, he's pretty dumb, yeah. They, uh, and he doesn't even break back Batman's back in this film. That would, that would have been a, a cool twist, I guess. To oh, they did that in, in uh, Christopher Nolan's uh, movie, yeah, with Tom yeah. Hardy. Because in the comic book, uh, that's what happened. I have so. the movie, but I haven't seen it yet. Yeah. Uh, da, 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 da. But, but yeah, there were a lot of incredibly un- bad puns. And just like, I want a car. <laughs> what? I want my own car. This is where Superman the, at, works alone. At the beginning, right? Yeah. yeah. yeah look, there were just puns everywhere, and just... Arnold had his puns. I mean, they were ice okay. Ice puns. Gerald, what killed the dinosaurs? The Ice, the ice age. age! Actually, he changes... We, we were commenting that he changed his voice a little bit for this you film. You can still tell it's yeah, him, but... A little more it, sinister, I guess. It's more yeah. sinister. Like, I think they did something yeah. with his uh, voice. His or maybe voice. he really did say, like, be more menacing. Yeah, I think he might have tried. Because I think, I think it is very possible to do to, for him to do that. Um, but, uh, would you say... He was a believ- believable character. I mean, because in the comics he does not look as as massive Bulky. or Power Ranger like as you said. Like, oh uh, yeah, he looks like a he looks like Ivan Ooze from Power <laughs> Ranger movie, which I do have. Yeah. 
Uh, but yeah, he looks very power. I never thought about that. He looked very Power Ranger with the suit of armor and all that. Or even like Goldar, right when the wings came out. Oh, jeez. <laughs> uh, but yeah, um, I don't know. Like, who who do you think had the break breakthrough performance in this film? I mean, did any of them her characters save save it at all, or not really? Eh? I can't really say anything. Like, not even for Arnold, which I think he did an okay, an okay. Uh, Mister Freeze, like in its unique style. Oh, speaking of style, yeah, the movie just like had several. It's very colorful, yeah. like in a rave party. Like at one point when they were at the Turkish bath or something, it was like it looked at like our t- my TV broke because everyone was in neon glow, and I was just like, Ugh. that's not even talking about the special effect when Mister Freeze shoots, shoots the ice. It's like blinding. I'm just like, yeah, it was pretty bright. Definitely you had bright. your shades on. I had my shades on, so bright. It wasn't just to look cool. It was too much lighting, bright. And you weren't intend- you weren't intending to wear that. I don't no, think. No, I wasn't. But, uh, I mean, Uma Thurman, she did okay, I guess, but... She was. Right? I guess In so. certain scenes, she was kind of hot. <laughs> like, seductive. Yeah, like, she hot. was the seductress, yeah. But she like, still like, did look ridiculous yeah. in the Poison Ivy yeah, costume. Yeah, for sure. Even with those, uh, look like kitchen gloves with, like, green and, like, red, so the red opposite, nails. Uh, red, red nail, nail yeah. polish or yeah. something. <laughs> opposite of Freddy Krueger. Yeah, pretty much, yeah. Hmm. The thing is, it looked like she she got eaten by a plant at one point. What what happened? The Venus flytrap. I think she got trapped because later uh, on you see her in prison. Yeah, yeah, yeah that makes I sense. don't know how that works. It's like she controls plants, doesn't she? So why yeah. would that happen? That's so flawed. That is flawed. Yeah. Mm, let's see. And the music was pretty much non-existent. Yeah, not much. Yeah, like not nothing that a... sticks out. It's just like. Not much of a score Every, at all. Like sometimes I just expected like the dun 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 dun, dun <laughs> like when like they were running at yeah. the end towards the camera. I think the reason why is uh, Danny Elfman, who worked on the first two Batman f- film scores, uh, is not involved in this film. Uh, same with uh, Batman Forever, so that's why the music's a bit different. It's, la- it's, la- it's lacking the epic feel, yeah, for sure. That's why it made it more seem more cartoonish. Although Batman the animated series did use. Elfman's uh, score uh, for the intro, and I think during the, the, the show itself, yeah. So. Do, 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 because it was a good theme. <laughs> yeah, it, it felt was very, ba- very Batman heroic, like. Yeah, for sure. Well, let's see. Well, what would you say was a good thing in this movie that, like, you know, was good on its own? I thought the ice effect worked out. Yeah. Except for uh, a few occasional, if you look carefully, that, there's rubber ice that wobble, and it's like. That's not supposed to or happen. Or that scene that you you pointed out where Robin they rewind. Oh, <laughs> there's this scene where Robin was fighting with Poison Ivy and he gets thrown underwater and I yeah. don't know. I guess vines were holding it. Yeah. And when he gets up, it's like he gets up and yeah, uh, yeah. and then like seconds later they reverse the footage to where it goes down. It was and like I, that. I was like, wow. I was like, <laughs> why did they? Do? I don't know. They couldn't film like like. Oh, I guess it was too hard. Uh, I, don't I don't know. But if you watch it, it's just like it's so. <laughs> Did you notice it first time until I pointed it out? No, until you pointed out, I, I didn't really pay attention to what was going on. There. I guess you were just kind of droning out, like, yeah, oh, okay, yeah. villain fight scene, yeah. and so forth. <laughs> yeah, I guess visually it definitely was cool, but... Uh, it felt consistent to, yeah. a, to a degree, but it was also just really... Not hard on the eyes, but I was just getting really tired of looking at it. I was just like... Yeah. Just gave that look that... Well, I guess in the end, I guess Mr. Freeze is trying to make him like a sympathetic figure where like, you know, he's he, just... He just wanted to save his wife. His wife. And, you know, that's okay. It's just that uh, he needed funding and he had to steal. And, uh, <laughs> you know, it's... it's The way he went about it wasn't good, but he uh, had good intentions, like Batman said. And then Batman is able to, you know, talk talk to him and... Uh, Emotionally, because, oh yeah, there was a conflict with Batman where he's all about work, work, job, job, and yeah. this, like, uh, no emotion to it, and then he just kind of softened up, which kind of made him look like a pussy. <laughs> like, he's like, speak to me, Robin, and all that stuff. Because, oh, Robin, played by Chris O'Donnell, is really whiny in this movie. Well, he was in the last film as well, and, I mean, he, I guess he's similar, yeah, he's like... He wants Batman to accept him and, you know, not, I mean, trust in him and stuff, but... Death wouldn't have it because he's, <laughs> he's young and all that stuff. And yeah. Just... All that stuff. Oh, I'm trying to think what else we could point out here. Um, okay, what about the... Well, there's obviously a lot of bad stuff that we pointed out. Um, 
but but what any bad any not so good moment that stuck out? Not so good moments. Hmm. There were there were quite a few, but they <laughs> unfortunately were thankfully not exceedingly bad. Minus a couple like bad credit card. I thought the scene with I forget the uh, the doctor's name, the one who's like a lunatic. Oh, uh, but Will yeah. Willman or something? I know it's sort of with yeah. W or something. I know who you're talking about. The that, one that looks like. Um, Adam Savage from Mythbusters. That's what he looked like to me. I was like, "Yeah, Adam Savage." Well, he. I mean, that scene was kind of. I don't, I don't think it was really necessary, but. Uh, it was just to have him push uh, Numa Therma's character yeah. into a to- vat of toxic. Like he raised the killer off, yeah. It's killer like, off, and then turn her into poison ivy. Yeah. <laughs> but basically, that doctor, the psycho doctor, was the one that responsible for creating Bane. Because yeah. he was using the research that uh, Numa Therma's character, I forget what his name, like Phil, so- Phil something. For- Phil, yeah. yeah. Something like Poison Ivy's character to to make a steroid for apparently the war between the Af- Afghan and America. Because you saw the military <laughs> yeah, soldier and then you saw the, 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 the Afghan yeah, people. Yeah. No offense. They're trying to battle for this super serum. serum. Super soldier serum. Yeah, venom, they call it. Yeah, which is... <laughs> Funny name, I guess, because that's a, a Marvel villain. But yeah. For uh, Captain America. <laughs> uh, actually, wait. Well, Venom. Super, super Soldier Serum. Yeah, I forget what what. Yeah, Captain America, true. Yeah, and uh, in the Batman universe, it's just called Venom. Yeah. Bane. Well, I'm trying to po- think of any uh, other scenes that stood out, but um, hmm. I can think of a bunch, but it's just like uh, they're really minor stuff. That well, doesn't bring up like a good conversation. I guess we didn't we didn't talk about the, the skates, right? The Bat Batman and Robin have skates that come out of their uh, their boots. <laughs> that was like awfully convenient. And yeah. it's like that that scene was just goofy. It was like a playing hockey, ice hockey yeah. against. And I was like, you think the ones losing are the leaves? <laughs> Canadian. Yeah, I wonder if that was like somehow a tie in by the NHL to to appeal to the you know American audience like that, that includes some hockey in a, in a in a Batman movie. That looked it like the Predator and maybe. Casey Jones. Yeah, maybe. And well, there was what about that scene where Arnold was trying to orchestra them to like sing, sing, sing <laughs> in this cartoon. What was it again, Mister Mister Frosty Christmas, or Frosty Christmas? Yeah, I, I don't know. Yeah, it, yeah. I was just like, what the? Fuck? That was pretty messed up. <laughs> but yeah, mm. another thing that was. What about the part where? Um, Barbara like just found the password to Alfred's secret disc when Alfred was like, "Do not open this disc." Yeah, she was very stubborn, and I was like, "Alfred, why did you put a video game password?" <laughs> that was so dumb. Peg. Uh, uh, well, I don't know. Have we covered it all grounds? Oh, um, another good scene was when like like uh, Freeze was go- was um yeah. was with his wife in the tube. Like it was a very that was a very good scene. I gotta say the show. Oh, like where it shows like the his, his tender side. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, that that was a good, that yeah. was a nice scene. Uh, most people would agree. Oh, I guess another failed point is the subtitles. Oh yeah. A lot of the time, the subtitle on this DVD just didn't match. And not at points, I'm just like, the words. what? I was just like, what? <laughs> that's probably not. That's not the movie's fault. And we're, mo- I'm more referring to the DVDs. Maybe so. they were Sub Zero titles. <sighs> you saw that. <laughs> Well, he's, he's set it up so yeah. <laughs> there was all a bunch of other stuff I was set up and it's also very quite cliche because I yeah. called a bunch of the lines too yeah, did. Like, uh, except for the Adam and Eve one. well I technically did but, but it was more evil, like yeah. Adam and Evil yeah but oh, overall what, what did you think of the movie would you watch it again would you recommend it um I would, would you even suggest it I mean if you're a Batman fan it's not gonna like destroy your your whole um... actually it did destroy for some really people. For yeah some people? some people were just like this is the stupidest fucking movie i mean if ever. you take it really seriously maybe but like at the end of the day it's it was meant meant to be like a like a comic book you know over the top film so i didn't really take it seriously coming in to uh watching it today so if you don't take it seriously i think you'll get some maybe a little bit of entertainment not too much but it's not it's not definitely not the worst movie that i've that i've ever seen so uh, uh, definitely would, a Super Mario Brothers uh, would 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 uh, stomp <laughs> over this one. So, so if you yeah. were to pick between Super Mario Brothers and this and Batman and Robin, I'd probably watch this again. Yeah. 
Yeah. Mm -hmm. You? Okay. Well. Did I, did I actually watch Mario, yeah. I wouldn't say I wouldn't say I'm a Batman. Well, I am a Batman fan, but I'm yeah. like a hardcore fan. Would I recommend this movie? It's not the worst movie out there, but this movie does get lost sometimes. Yeah. It's a long movie, and it does get lost. And uh, I really would not like to watch this again. But if it was if it was like, do you want to watch Super Mario Bros. or this movie? I think I'd take this movie. But I think I'd take this movie over that because this didn't hurt. This was just yeah. at points just boring or just like insult insulting the Batman, but not in the sense I took it that seriously. It's like, oh well, this is the cartoony version of Batman. It's just not for me. Ish. If anything, if if you really feel like the movie's getting to you, I'd say maybe put it in a, put it in a freezer for a little bit and then let, let it thaw for eleven minutes and then go back to watching it. Maybe cool off for you eleven cool minutes. Cool off. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Because they kept pointing that in the movie, like, let it thaw for 11 minutes or something, right? Or we gotta thaw them in the 11 minutes, <laughs> yeah, 11 or else, minutes. Uh, or else yeah. they die. Except for the two scientists that freeze froze early, I'm like, yeah. isn't your 11 minutes passed or something <laughs> like that? I don't know. I guess time was frozen or something. Oh, that was <laughs> terrible. God. <laughs> oh, and then that reminds me. You know when Barbara or Batgirl had the mask yeah. on in the ear thing? I was like... That's, that's Batgirl, but then she just takes it off and like, reveals the hair. I'm like, I know. Then she's more like Robin, right? Almost like or Robina instead of uh, Batgirl. <laughs> right? It's true, right? It's something, something like that. Yeah. But yeah, would I recommend watching this movie? No. Not by yourself. <laughs> and I'm... It's hard to recommend it for like a group watch, too. Although I would suggest watching it as a group, because then you probably wouldn't be like... Annoying. It feels like a... It feels like a TV special movie to me, yeah. actually. I can see that. But not the worst movie ever. Um, I wouldn't really recommend you watch it, but if you haven't seen it, I, hmm, I can't even say check it out. But wa watch it on like a movie night with uh, people. You'll probably won't. You'll probably enjoy it a lot better than if you were watching by yourself. Because if I watched this by myself, I think I'd just shut it off halfway. Because. At points, it just got really boring with all the talking and stuff, and just wasn't very. It wasn't too Batman. It wasn't too Batman like at, at certain moments. It lacked, once, once again, like with the race, I'm just like, well, what did that have to do with anything? It definitely lacked the, uh, the darkness of the Batman films series. It was more like there was like subtle darkness, like when she, uh, Poison Ivy, you know, pulled the plug on the, the wife, stuff like that. But I mean, it wasn't as dark as as previous films for sure. This is probably the weakest Batman movie out of the yeah, quadrilogy, sure. I guess you'd say. Yeah. But you know what? It's not It's not the worst, as we said. It's not the worst movie. So all you critics out there saying this is one of the worst movies, chill out. It's not. Dick oh, yeah. Arnold did. Uh, chill out, dick wad. Damn it. I was, was going <laughs> to say that. Say <laughs> I was like, if Arnold said chill out, chill out, dick wad. Yeah, you should have said that. Yeah. That would have been cool. But Funny, he, but I don't yeah. expect it to be in this movie. But Right, well... We'll be, we'll be back with another Batman movie. Yep. Mr. Oh. Freeze will not. <laughs> well, but uh, I don't know which, which one we'll watch. I guess we'll watch them in re re reverse order. Maybe Batman Forever will I be next. I suppose we go back to the yeah. beginning, traveling through time. Yeah, we're, we're starting with uh, Batman and Robin and working to for uh, forever. And then back, uh, Batman Returns and then Batman. There was no video game based off Batman and Robin, was there? Uh, there, there was wa one for there Return. Was. Oh. PlayStation, yes. Uh, we had it at ANC Games, but not anymore. No, somebody bought it. Oh wow! <laughs> was Mr. Freeze in there? Yes. Oh god damn it! <laughs> I had, just had to do that because there was Batman Begins the game, Batman Forever, Forever and Batman and what the fuck? Batman Returns. Yep. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. Batman Returns on Super Nintendo. Yeah, and Nintendo. Yeah. yeah. And the Forever one sucks, of course. You know what? The game. I I don't know for for, for some reason I kind of like the. <laughs> I don't know why, but... Yeah, guilty Pleasure? Maybe, yeah. I'd have to say Guilty Pleasure, because if you legitimately like the game, I would have a real hard time believing I like, it. I like the moveset just because of, of being a Mortal Kombat fan, I guess, but... Game, I, I suppose, but... Gameplay-wise, yeah, it's pretty stupid. You have to, like, figure out your way out of, like, certain mazes and, and stuff. Certain and, move combinations. Yeah. But we'll save that for the other time. Yes. So, to end this off... Chill out. Dickwad. I thought you were going to say it. <laughs> no. <laughs> I can't shut the...